Kim, good to have you with us. Just tell us a little bit about Michel Patrick Boisvert firstly and the challenges that he faces immediately. Well, Boisvert, this is really a continuation of the status quo. He was the interim prime minister for Ariel Henry when Ariel Henry was uh, uh, blocked from returning to the country after February 29th. He essentially took over the reins. So for the this interim council to now name him um, is, <laughs> I think, foolish. It's not exactly a surprise, though, because essentially uh, what the deal that they established was that uh, Ariel Henry's former cabinet ministers have to okay what the new uh, council uh, decides. So um, it makes sense. Boisvert uh, was there, and they put him. They kept him there. So uh, in many ways, um, this is just continuation of the uh, of the status quo. Well, hang on. So, so correct me if I'm wrong, but surely the, the gangs who are the source of the violence in Haiti at the moment, they're not going to buy this. Oh, no, they're not. They don't buy the whole <laughs> the whole council because they see it as I think with the majority of the Haitian people as completely illegitimate. It's nothing Haitian about it. It was concocted by Anthony Blinken in Washington. It was fronted for by the CARICOM nations and uh, then installed basically uh, by, the, by Washington, France, and Canada. And th so the Haitians don't see this as a genuine council at all. Uh, they're not going to see Boisvert as anything uh, legitimate. And uh, so this is really pouring gasoline on a fire. It's not going to make it any better, then? It's not going to change anything, in your opinion? Not at all. No, on the contrary. I mean, already the council itself is somewhat dysfunctional because it encompasses the entire dysfunctional political class, uh, including Ariel Henry's group, all the way over to uh, the Montana group and Lavalas family party. But all of these nine members, and especially the seven voting ones, are seen as traitors. They are disgraced by the fact that they had to agree to a foreign military intervention into Haiti by this Kenyan-led force, which even isn't even a UN force. And uh, so everybody is very disgusted by this. Haiti just came out of its second foreign military intervention in 30 years, uh, five years ago, in 2019. And now to go back in, in t with foreign troops in the country, cr troops that don't even speak Creole or French, they're from Kenya, for God's sakes, uh, w which has a notorious human rights reputation. This is just uh, a, an accident looking for a place to happen. A gloomy piece of analysis. Thank you, Kim. Appreciate your time. Kim Ives there, editor for the website Haiti Liberté. Thank you.